What's happening would be Assassins, John Ryan here from IGN with a look at the Mystery Foe Challenge, uh, part of the new Dunwall City Trials Challenge map pack from Dishonored. Um, this is one of the stealth challenges, basically the objective is to find four clues within this mansion and then uh, determine from those clues who you have to kill, who your target is. Um, the thing about this though is that the less clues you find, the more points you get, or at least that's what the... Uh, briefing screen says when you read it. Um, you'll see here that I'm just going to go and in this case I literally just randomly picked uh, a person. It's the woman who's in the uh, powder room doing her face. Um, anyway, so she's doing that and I was like, you know what? This girl, this girl looks a little bit a little bit skeezy. She's not up to any good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose her for my target. And it turned out to be right. Uh, but the thing is, I only got two stars on this level for not getting seen and not having to get any clues to decipher who my target was. Uh, so you'll see in a minute how that plays out and how you can understand being a little bit upset at it. Uh, but I figured out to get three stars you get 1800 or so points uh, for each clue that you find. And the bonus that you get, uh, which is called Lucky Guess, see here we go right there, bang, got her, you killed the target, target assassinated. Uh, and then you get stealth bonus, and lucky guess, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but you still only get two stars from it. So, the lucky guess bonus is, it would seem, universal no matter how many clues you don't pick up versus if you pick up none of them, for example. Uh, so I figured it out. What you're going to do is you're going to get three of the clues. And with three of the clues, you can get a pretty good feel as to who your target is. Um, it's either going to be a man or a woman. They're going to be either dressed in red and blue. So that's our first clue right there. The target is a man. Okay. Ladies, today's your lucky day. Gentlemen, watch out. So we're going to go ahead and pick up our second clue, uh, which is right here, next to the lady that we killed the last time around. Whoops. Uh, their target wears a helmet, a hat, or a mask. So it could be anybody uh, who's got a guard. It could be a guard with a helmet on. It could be an aristocrat with a party mask on. Um, so we're going to go find one more clue. And this one's located in the wine cellar area, so you're just going to sneak into the kitchen right over here. And uh, use your blink to jump down behind these barrels. Ba-bam. Pick up our clue. And our target wears blue clothes. Alright, so there aren't many party guests who are wearing blue clothes, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's a guard. So we're going to make our way over to the guard and kill him. So we've already got 7,560 points um, just from picking up clues alone. Uh, so... The, if you get three clues, you'll still get the big bonus for not really knowing who your target is. It's a lucky guess bonus. Um, and just make sure that you don't get spotted. And that even includes uh, if someone starts to notice you just a little bit. They get those like one or two lightning bolts flashing above their head. Um, you may get a high enough score if you do the rest of the challenge properly. Uh, but you also may still end up with only two stars. So there we go. There's a guy wearing a helmet and blue clothes. And he's a man. And bam, we killed the target. So, oh, look at that. Awesome. We get 44,230 points because we did it very fast and we made that lucky guess. So that'll do it for the Mystery Foe Challenge on Dishonored. Just remember, get three clues and then decipher your target. And for anything else having to do with Dishonored or its DLC, keep it locked right here on IGN.